How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of the Dad Bot Garage. Today we are working on the Taurus again. Actually as a matter of fact nothing is actually broken on the old girl. We're going to do a little bit of cosmetic work. So for, I ordered this grill from customcargrills.com and this is not a bolt-in procedure. This is a highly invasive, you gotta take the entire bumper off, <clears throat> cut the other grill up. They call this the three bar uh, because there's three bars, one, two, three. And the reason they didn't carry this on was from what I understand it had poor cooling properties, poor flow properties. So <clears throat> I've got this aftermarket grill. <clears throat> we need to cut this whole grill up and then this one gets glued in. So I'm gonna get you guys on a tripod with my other camera and we are going to get the front bumper off and we're gonna get our new grill installed. All right, so we got some screws to take out. I'm gonna get my screw gun. We're gonna zip out all the screws for the front bumper and uh, it should come right off. Alright, after taking off a million screws, I think it just pops off now. I got the other side to pop off. Okay. There you go. Now something I wasn't able to show you on camera. I did disconnect the side marker lights. Alright, now that gives us access to the clips that hold in the grill so we'll be able to pop this out now all right so this is the ugly part I can't get so if you could see there's a clip right here that holds the grill in but it's also held back by this chrome piece <clears throat> this chrome piece is part of the three bar chrome grill so the only clips that hold the actual front chrome piece in are these black clips I could get those black clips out if I remove this chrome piece behind it this silver piece so it looks like 
I'm going to have to cut off these chrome tabs right here, all the way across. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe a couple across here. We'll start cutting and we'll see how far we get. I know we're not going to need this silver piece because that's for the three bar. We only need the chrome bezel around the front. So let me cut these off real quick and uh, we'll see how far I get. I've got the recommended blade. That gets us really close. I can probably pull this out now. So that's going to be the trick. You're going to have to get this out first. They show you in the video with this whole thing out, but you cannot get it out. So that we got the grill on the desk now what we need to do is get this billet piece in here and we also need to get this painted today i am just gonna rattle can this uh i have plasti dip and i have a uh, rattle can so actually you know what i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna plasti dip this because i also want to get some of that oem uh spray can i think it's like uh, something 1200 or 3000 something uh paint match so i could actually paint match this because i think i'm going to order stuff to do the lower grill as well i know i can't do the adaptive cruise control side but i can do the rest of the grill and this really wasn't that hard so i think i'm going to try to find the lower grill piece uh but in the meantime i'll just plasti dip this that way when i go to paint match the tail lights and all that well that'll be another episode but for right now we just need to use this half inch masking tape we're going to tape off uh, all the way around and then we're going to cut this whole center section out and then we're going to tape across the top here on the bottom side of the top and then we'll cut that straight across and that way the whole center piece will be clear we'll go ahead we'll sand it down we'll paint it and then we'll set the glue and hopefully by tonight I'll be able to put the bumper back on and all that hopefully it'll be dry enough by then because it is nasty outside today
All right, just so we're being completely transparent here. I just uh, pooched that one pretty good. But you'll never really see it from the front. I mean, we're talking, this is the front of the grill, right? And we're talking up, up, up inside of that corner. All right, so now they tell you in the video to use... This thing is awesome, by the way. This little, uh, I can't remember what they call it, 8310 or some shit. Uh, this little tool is awesome. It cut through that like it was nobody's business. Okay, so here's the deal now. So I've got this rough edge around the whole edge. And they tell you to use the front edge of this to kind of buff it down. And that's just way too intense. All I want to do is knock that edge off. And this thing immediately starts digging in. And just use some of this heavy grit sandpaper here. Okay, so uh, we got some lacquer thinner. We got our uh, Plasti dip. I'm gonna go warm up some water to put this in some warm water. These always uh, spray better when they're warm. Some lacquer. So we're going to give this thing a really good go over. All right, and we didn't record painting it. So anyway, uh, all I did was I sprayed my first coat. Uh, and we warmed our plastic up, up in some water and we went tss, tss, and that was it all right so we're going to go ahead and get this last coat on here now we waited a half an hour in between each coat warming up the can before each application and it's laying on there pretty smooth all right, now that we got this all painted up, we've got this product that's recommended by the manufacturer. It's called uh, Amazing Goop. I, uh, let's see if we can get a, there we go. Amazing Goop. Uh, this is recommended by the manufacturer. They use two whole tubes of it. Uh, I don't see how that could possibly be necessary, but uh, I wanna see if one would do the trick. Okay, so. I am going to be using this air cylinder tank that I have as my weight. Uh, I don't want to use the zip ties because it's going to mess up my wet paint because I am doing this procedure properly. I did wait for the Plasti Dip to dry for 30 minutes. So you can see we're all nice in the groove down there. The cylinder is plenty heavy. Alright, so it's been a few hours. Uh, it's been about two hours. The the stuff is, uh, it's definitely, it's still gummy, but it's got some pretty good hold. This is the configuration that seemed to work the best. So let's take these off. Well, I think that's good enough to uh, check it out here. All right, not too bad. Pretty good. And as you can tell, the line you cut is not that critical. More down here, but not that critical. I think this will get it on the car tonight at least. And then it can sit for the rest of the night and cure.
it's all snapped in. Get this Well the top of this used to snap in but we cut those tabs so looks like it'll just be these two. Thank you.